cheers. <laughs> and um, welcome to uh, the van session. Hi. And um, yeah, maybe um, you can introduce yourself. Who is uh, Nadi? Um, I'm Nadi. Hey. Um, I'm an artist and producer. Studying with you together. That's where we know each other from as well. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I basically make music, produce for others, have events as an artist secret playlist and just living it out. For yeah. Me. And it, like, because I know you as Therese. Yeah. And then you said a few days ago that your first name is actually Nadi. No, it's one of my names. One of your names, yeah, but not like, your first. No, it's my third name. Your third name. That's why I was like, it's my actual name. So, yeah. Crazy. That's, uh, it's a cool name though. Thank you. Yeah. I have like a Nigerian name that's Nadi, a oh, yeah. normal name that's Therese, and then I got a Turkish name as well, and that's Serdar. Okay. <laughs> like, are you gonna share it or not? Yeah. Is that a secret? Yeah. No, no, it's all good. Nice. Um, yeah, and we're here today to talk about our track because yeah, it released Fallen. today, mm -hmm. on the day that we're filming it. Fallen. Yeah. Hard track. Yeah. Hard hard track. Yeah. What? Um, can you share something about the the process of it? The process was pretty cool. Like we were at my, we came to mine, my yeah. studio. I had the van like for a week then. Yeah. And then I drove to your place. Yeah. I haven't even seen the van up until now, even yeah. though you was here yeah. with it. But um, you came to my place in Germany, um, and we just sat on it and kind of went for the vibe that we had. I think we had like one more, or yeah, two yeah. more, or two more, or something. I don't know. Yeah, we had one more demo. Yeah. Uh, indeed, yeah. Um, and that was just the first one that we made, I think, and then this was immediately yeah. the right one. Yeah. And uh, we had like the hook, I know, or I had the hook, and then we just kind of only had to figure out what kind of topic we want to talk about, or yeah, yeah. should talk about, because we had Yeah, you did that afterwards, stuff. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because we made it, the track was pretty, we made it pretty easily. Yeah, it was just a topic. Yeah, it's yeah. Fun. Because I didn't want, I was contemplating if I should talk about falling and stuff. And then you were yeah. like, oh, is it pretty cool? And I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. How was yeah. it for you? How was the process for you then? Yeah, it was fun. I'm, I was. I mean, we had tried to make a little bit of music before, mm -hmm. but there was nothing serious. And this was indeed with the goal to uh, have a track on my album as well. Mm -hmm. So that was nice. And then yeah, it just started off easy. We kind of liked the same sort of chord. Yeah. So uh, when we figured out those, then, then yeah, it went easy. And indeed, you did some like mumbly sort of melodies. Yeah, exactly. And we were like, yeah, there's potential. And then I think a few weeks later, you recorded the yeah. vocals properly. And yeah, here we are. Especially with like the vocals, the first vocals, the mumbling vocals. We had like a few takes and then we just puzzled them where we want them to be. Yeah, yeah, kind of. true. Do you always work that way? A lot of times. Yeah? I try not to work like that now, right now, but most of the time I work like that just because it, I want to see what comes out first naturally. Yeah. If I don't have the lyrics already, or if I, if I don't have an idea, and if I if I if I then like what came out of it, then I'll just work on it further. Other than that, I'll just see what I can do and pivot from there. Yeah. And do you do you all sometimes also start your tracks with the lyrics, or do you always start with the music? Very rarely. Yeah. I think that's because I'm a producer. Yeah, yeah. It's like the pr you're just building side. a vibe. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have to build a vibe and a world first, and then go from there. I, but I like writing before I have the track. I did that very rarely, but I think it's pretty cool. I want to learn how to do that. I don't think I'm very good at it. Can get better? Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, and what are you doing with your own music now? Your own project? Because you're also releasing some songs and doing an EP or not? Or is it not going to be an EP? Uh, it's not going to be an EP, I think. Oh, yeah. It could be. Maybe I'll come up with a summer EP. <laughs> it, it depends. Yeah. I have a few tracks laying down now. Yeah. Um, and usually, it's quite funny, but because since like what is it? it's now May, let's say for like seven months, the last seven months, I still really started making songs for Nadi again. Mm. I haven't made songs in a while, just because I was so on production focused. Mm -hmm. And. Um, like now, that, that was the time like seven months ago where I was like, okay, let me actually start taking Nadi as an artist serious. Yeah. And then I have started making tracks and it's always like it comes in waves. I make like four tra tracks and yeah, then yeah. I just don't make I tracks for any months. Yeah. Sit on them, finish those ones. Nice. Yeah. 
Um, but yeah, I want to. I want basically to. Work, I want to release the whole summer. Just like make summer songs, make songs yeah. that people can make memories to. That's good because my summer. I yeah. said 2016. It's, it's yeah, it's gonna be a good one, huh? Yeah, it's yeah. A 2016 vibe. <laughs> so I have to drop. Yeah. And um, you've also been in London quite a lot. What What is it with London that pulls you in? I just. I don't know. I'm, I have family there, so I'm pretty mm. used to it. I just like. I just like the whole energy of it there. Um, especially because there are way more black people as well, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, I just feel very, very comfortable in London. Um, and I feel that the open-mindedness there mm -hmm. is something that I really like in their way. It's not that I want to come into the city and be like, oh, I'm from London. No, no. Yeah. I'm not. But and the, the music culture? It's great. Yeah? It's fucking great, yeah. I just love it. It's Especially because hip-hop and... The U and in general, the UK scene is so versatile at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, I know a few artists there, um, and I did some research on it and stuff just to see, just to really grasp what they're doing there. And they have so much versatility; it's it's going everywhere. Everybody has their own sound. Everybody has their own taste. Yeah, they've really cool. they've always been pioneers there. Yeah, yeah, and it, yeah. I think it's getting more and more even bigger now, especially with right. the underground scene. It's getting better and better. But yeah, how's your how's your music life going? What's your what are you doing at the moment as, if, apart from the album? Apart from the album, not much. <laughs> that's that's the full focus now. Um, what I've noticed recently is that I'm not making that much music, and I'm now more doing these videos and all kinds of stuff. Do you like it? Yeah, I think it's fun. I think it's fun. I also miss making music. Yeah. Um, but I do enjoy. Uh, like we also did an acoustic version today, mm. and I do really enjoy playing music in that yeah, way yeah. to like actually make music again and um, it's a different part of the game right yeah. to make these videos yeah, and sure. the promo side. yeah yeah but it's also fun and that's yeah. also what I like about the van it's just a day out in nature with friends and you make music yeah. and we make cool videos and so yeah that's been uh, that's been fun mm. also the marketing has been hard like I'm basically doing everything independently what was so. the hardest part about it I think the the hardest part is being able to manage it all. From like I started with recording all the yeah. songs, getting everyone that I wanted on board, recording everything, mixing everything, yeah. getting someone to master it. I got someone to do the artworks for it. Yeah, yeah. I arranged my own vinyl. I got skateboard decks as, as merchandise. We're doing these videos almost every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, and then I'm trying to send, every time I send emails for promotion, because I also, I work at the record label that did this release through. So I'm basically also doing all my promotion. I do the distribution, yeah. right? So it's I oversee the whole picture. Yeah. Something that's very rewarding, but also very challenging. How did you do it? How did you start organizing it? Did you make like a little roadmap or something of little stuff you have to do to keep track? Did you keep track of everything? Mm, I just knew what the end goal was and started working towards it. Yeah, yeah. And then piece by piece, the, the parts came together. Um, yeah, and first just making the music, I did for basically a full year. Mm. I was working on the music, and then when the music started coming to an end, I started working on the artworks and the other side of things to be able to release it. And what was it with getting artists on your album? How did you do, that? Did you do it? And how did you, yeah, manage, like, what, how did you knew that you wanted those artists that you have on there, on it? Mm. Yeah, good question. Yeah, I started off with track with Bella Luna mm -hmm. because I knew that, I mean, I'd worked with her before and I was like, yeah, let's, I know we can make some good music together. Let's do it yeah. and let's just put it on an album. Mm -hmm. I think that's way, I always love working in projects because I feel like I can create a box for myself mm -hmm. within, uh, in which I can work and it allows me to be more creative and more, uh, and make more progression. Yeah. Because it's not like, oh, what are we making this track for? I don't know. No, I have a goal. It's going to sound something like this. And there is room for creativity. Mm. But yeah, and that, that really worked for me. And for this project, I mostly work with friends. Mm. So it was with Bella. I already knew for some years. A Jew as well from school. And then I got Makahena singing that I got through a friend that I make music with. Mm. And Charlie as well. And the other producers and artists on there are also just friends and people I know yeah. through other people. 
Yeah, and it feels really cool to be able to feature other people my music and give them a vinyl record yeah. with their music on it. And yeah, I think it's cool. Yeah, especially the vinyls are great. I'm putting that. Yeah. It's the first time I hear myself on the vinyl. It sounds great, let me tell you. Yeah, I will, I will try it. I will definitely try it. Yeah. Nice. Nah, I think... Yeah, I think even the process, I like the tracks that I heard with Bella. Um, Do you make tracks with her too? No, no, the tracks that I heard with Bella. Oh, yeah. I made tracks with her as well. Oh, yeah. I made tracks with Bella. <laughs> I even forgot about it. <laughs> but yeah, nah. Um, I, I feel like everything comes is like one big picture which yeah. I really like everybody has their own little perspective on it yeah yeah that's what I really like about it even like our track in the context of the whole album yeah, yeah. just makes sense and yeah. that not every track has the vocals on it yeah I think it's it also works when it fits type, yeah. shit, type thing you know yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I liked it as well because if I put on a record I usually put it on when I'm I don't know just doing some shit around my room yeah. cleaning up or uh, cooking or whatever and then i really like the sort of like you chill vibe your instrumental going in and then you get picked up by a vocal track yeah. and your attention is like and then you can chill off again and actually you know so it's uh, quite relaxing how was the reception for the tracks that came out of Ubuntu now? so far really good yeah nice it was yeah. like one one thing that you really that really stood out where you were like, oh yeah, this is nice that this is happening, or that message really, really, really filled me with happiness or something. Mm. Like one thing that just stood out. I mean, uh, not necessarily on the single so far, yeah. but more on the, the people that got a record, and some people that I didn't expect to buy a record bought it from the start, and nice. like the reception that. I got on the, the project as a whole. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's really fun. Also from the artist itself, that like I can just the people I can make happy if I give you yeah, a vinyl. Yeah. I can yeah, just see sure. people light up, and it's yeah, that's so fun. And yeah, just in in general, good good reactions on these videos as well. Yeah, uh, uh. And I think that's uh, I'm also just trying to have fun. And it, I think that's also a part of like in the studio and working on a project and doing like marketing and promotion is like sort of serious work yeah and yeah, a day like yeah. today i can relax mm. we're just taking a day off we just have fun we make yeah, some music yeah. we we talk and yeah 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 no nah, it. it's a different way of making of making your own of creating your own little world yeah. yeah yeah and this is also now for the first time that i'm incorporating the van life into my music and the skateboarding life even. and the skateboarding as well yeah wait let me let me show it off yeah, yeah. Oh wait, it's closed. I go from the inside. Just a little plug for the skateboard deck. Let's show it. If you want to buy a skateboard, this is the way to go. <laughs> you have Bruno always with you. Wherever have you have always Wavo with you. You have him always under your feet. I say, you can make tricks with him. It's your own little huevo. Yeah, let me put it in the background. There's a little... little uh, no, no one will know. Yeah. Vanception. Vanception? <laughs> That's nice. You're like yeah. really incorporating it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's also a part of the struggle if, I, if you don't sing. Yeah. But you try to be an artist, it's way harder to sort of get the attention in the same way as someone who does vocals uh, gets. Yeah, that's true. So I'm trying to incorporate it in a broader way because I also do a lot of other things in life. Mm. And this is also like the van life story is also a story that I want to tell. Mm. And I will share more about it in the future at some point. Mm. And alternative ways of living and all this kind of stuff. Mm. And uh, yeah. Good. And um, what do you think is the um, what mood fits to the to our song? What, what's the situation people should listen to our song? Ooh, good one. 
<laughs> oh, that's a good one. I also find it a, a tough one. I'd say on a on a hot summer day on the bike. Okay. With headphones. Nice. That's a good one. Then <laughs> on a chill day at home, you can put it on because it's very. It drives you, gives you a whole. It it's like kind of a. When you hear it, you have your own vibe for like how long is the track? Three minutes. Yeah. Ish. You have your whole own little vibes like in. It's not lo-fi music, but it's like the way above lo-fi lo music mm -hmm. in the sense of activity. Yeah. So you're not yeah. like studying because it's vocals yeah. on there, but you're like clean, cleaning up, you're doing yeah. your thing, you're at home, you have a calm day. Maybe you smoke one even, I don't know, <laughs> if you do it. Um, yeah, that's, that, should be, that should be the way to yeah. go, I think. What and do you think? Yeah, I think so too. I think car rides. Car rides? Car rides are always a great moment to listen to it. And... But what does the, like, because you wrote the lyrics, what does the falling mean for you? Because, I, like, the falling gives a sort of sense of something going downhill. Yeah. But you, uh, it never feels like you lose hope. Yeah, the, in the track doesn't feel, yeah, that's true. Like, um, I mean, the lyrics are quite, quite reflective in a sense of, you're falling and you hold because I'm saying you're holding on I'm holding on to the core of my own wrongs so like you're reflecting about what you basically what you want maybe not change about yourself but what do you want where you want to change your perspective yeah um, so you really reflect on, on on how to how to get better in a sense that's mm. where the hope comes from maybe yeah um, and you are like accepting that you made some mistakes very much acceptance and that's yeah, why yeah. you've fallen or that's why you've been fallen and maybe you're getting out now yeah yeah so it's also good i think for people that are in a situation where something isn't just not right for yeah. a little while or where something's spiraling a little bit yeah i feel like a spiraling spiraling mm -hmm. put this track on don't lose hope yeah you can do it <laughs> right how do, how do you do it <laughs> yeah, i was also first fucking <laughs> <laughs> nice. it's fine Nice. Have we got it? I think so. Stein, do you have any last words? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, by the way, Stein uh, sung on this track all the ad libs. Um, <laughs> He's look. also our background dancer on yeah, the shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you see a video coming out, you will see Stein in there with like no shirt on and just dancing. <laughs> If he's not in there, he, he, he didn't do his job right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right. Good. Nice. Nice Good one. one.